Hey everyone, it's Meg from Creative Cove here. So today I have a super exciting tutorial for you. I'm gonna be showing you how to create an interactive quiz on Notion. So Notion is actually a really versatile tool and with a bit of creativity, you can actually use it for various purposes, including quizzes. So first I'm gonna give you a little tour of the quiz and explain how it works. And then I'll show you step-by-step -step how to set this up for yourself. So as you can see down here, this is the actual quiz. So each of these cards represents one of the questions on the quiz. So this is just a fun little country capital quiz. So for example, this is what is the capital of Greece? I would then make my guess. And once I'm ready, I can select this reveal answer checkbox. Once I select that, the answer will appear on the card. You can then uncheck this once you've read it. And then you need to decide if you got this correct or not. If you did get it correct, you can tick the correct checkbox. If you didn't get it right, you can just leave it blank. And you may have noticed once you tick the correct checkbox up here on the score, it will increase. So if I just add another one, as you can see, it's increased again. So that's just a handy way to keep track of how you did in the quiz. I then also have this tab, add questions. So this is where you can add more questions to the quiz. So you'll put the question in this first column, the answer in this column, and this is the correct checkbox that we saw on the card. The main reason I've included that here is because once you get to the end of the quiz, you'll probably have a lot of these checked. And to be able to replay the quiz, you will need to uncheck every single one. That can be time consuming. So a quick way to do it is to just come on here, select the first box, drag down, select them all, and then just hit delete and they will automatically all delete. And that's essentially how the quiz works. So now I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to build this quiz for yourself. So the first thing we're gonna do is type in forward slash database and select database in line. I'm then just gonna name this one quiz and I'm just gonna hide the title by clicking on these three dots and selecting hide database title. I'm then just gonna click on this tab name here and select rename. This one is gonna be our add questions tab and I'm just gonna change this little icon here as well. Firstly, I'm just gonna click on this tags column here and just hit delete because we don't need it. And I'm just gonna change the name of this first column. So it's currently name, but I want this to be question so that we can write our quiz questions in here. The first thing I'm gonna do is just add some questions into this first column. So I'm gonna stick with the country's capital quiz, but feel free to do any type of quiz that you like. So I'm just gonna say, what is the capital of Spain? I also just want to add some fun icons to the questions as well. So to do that, I can hover over the question and select open. That will just open this little page here with a question on it. I can then click add icon and select an icon. So in this case, I'm just gonna use the flags of the countries, but feel free to use any emojis that you like. Okay, so I've just added some example questions here. The next thing we're gonna do is add another property. So I'm gonna click on this plus symbol here and this one is gonna be a text property. So I'm just gonna type in text and select this text block. This one I'm gonna name answer as this is where we're gonna write in the answer to the question. So then the next thing you're gonna to need to do is just fill in all of the answers to the questions that you've added to the quiz. So for example, what is the capital of Spain? I'm gonna put in Madrid. Okay, so as you can see that I've just added in all of the answers to the questions. So I'm just gonna make that a little bit smaller as well. So the next thing we're gonna do is add another property. So I'm gonna click on this plus symbol and this one is gonna be a checkbox property. So I'm gonna select checkbox. This one is gonna be the checkbox that reveals the answer. So I'm gonna label it reveal answer. So I only want the answer to show when this reveal answer checkbox is selected. So to do that, I'm gonna to have to add in a formula. So I'm gonna add another property and this one is gonna be a formula. And this one I'm gonna name revealed answer because this is gonna show the answer once it's revealed. So next I'm gonna click on this formula edit button and that's gonna bring up this little panel where I can actually type in my formula. So to make this work, we're gonna use an if function. So if you've ever used if functions in Excel, um, it's very similar in Notion. So essentially I want to type in something along the lines of if the reveal answer checkbox is checked, then show the answer, otherwise don't show the answer. Okay, so to convert that into a formula, we're gonna type in if and open parentheses. The first property we're gonna put in there is our reveal answer checkbox. So under this little properties section, you can see all the properties in the table. So I'm just gonna click on reveal answer and it's just gonna add that into the formula for us. So the first part was saying, if the reveal answer checkbox is checked, then we want to show the answer. So to put this into our formula, we're gonna say Say if the property reveal answer equals equals true. So in this case, we're using true to indicate that the checkbox has been checked, whereas false would indicate that it has not been checked. Then we're gonna type in a comma and we're gonna tell it what do we want it to do if the checkbox is checked. So in this case, we want it to format the answer here. So I'm literally just gonna type that into the formula. I'm gonna say format, open parentheses, 
and we want it to format the answer. So I'm gonna select that property here and then I'm gonna close the parentheses. Then you need to tell it what you want to do if this condition is not true. So if the checkbox isn't checked, what should we do? So in this case, I'm gonna put comma and I'm just gonna put two quotation marks and leave the inside blank. So essentially I'm just saying show nothing if the checkbox isn't checked. And then I'm just gonna close the parentheses again and then I'll click done. So if we now have a look over on the actual table, as you can see, the ones where it's actually checked it is now showing the answer in our revealed answer, which is perfect. So if I click on this box, it will show the answer. If I uncheck it, it will disappear. So this view here is where we're actually gonna add questions. So I don't actually need to see this revealed answer column on this view. It's not really relevant to just adding in the questions and answers. So I am just gonna click on it and click hide. That column is something we're gonna use on the gallery view, which is just the interactive quiz section, which we're gonna set up in a moment. The final thing that I need to add on here was that correct checkbox so that we can select if we got it correct or not. So I'm just gonna click on here and I'm gonna type in checkbox select like checkbox and that one I'm just going to label as correct question mark just so I know that I can tick this if I got the answer correct. I am also just going to click on this reveal answer and hide it on this view as well. So I don't need that on here because I can already see the answer here. So next I want to set up the gallery view which is where we actually have the interactive quiz that looks like this. So to do that I'm going to click on this add questions and click duplicate and this one I'm actually just going to name quiz as this is going to be the actual quiz and I'm just going to change this icon as well and I'm just gonna pull it to the front. So the first thing I want to do is change this to a gallery view. So I'm gonna click on these three little dots here, select layout and select gallery. So as you can see, it currently comes up with this blank space here. So this is where we can actually put a photo. So it's up to you if you want a photo or not. If you don't want a photo, you can select this card preview here and set it to none and your questions will come up like this. Otherwise, if you do want a photo under card preview, select page cover. So these ones are still coming up blank because I've not actually added a photo. So to be able to do that, you can click on the actual card. So for example, what is the capital of Spain? If I hover up here, it'll say add cover. So I'm going to select that. This will then just add a random cover photo. So to change it, I can click change cover. And on here, there's a range of different options. So you can either click on the upload tab if you have a photo that you want to upload. You can use the link tab if you found a photo on the internet and you can just paste the link in here and Notion will automatically download it and re-upload it onto here. Or you can use Unsplash. I tend to use Unsplash quite a lot because it's just a free photo stock library. So it's just really quick and easy to find really beautiful photos that you can just directly import into Notion. So for this one, I'm just gonna type in Madrid as this was the Spain question. And I'm just gonna select one of these pictures here of Madrid. So if you just give it a second, it will automatically download that picture and upload it for you. So if I just click back now onto the main view, as you can see, we now have this nice picture of Madrid showing up. You can also reposition it if it is an awkward crop. So you can just click on reposition and just move it around a bit if you want to. Okay, so as you can see, I've just added some cover photos for each of the questions. So next we want to add a few more properties to these cards. So if you remember on the original one, we have the little reveal answer checkbox. And if you select that, it will actually show the answer. So to add that to the card, we're just gonna click on these three little dots and select properties. This then is gonna bring up all of the properties that we've created in the database. So the ones that I want to show on this card are the reveal answer checkbox. So to show it on the card, I'm just gonna click this little symbol here and it's gonna unhide it from view. I then also want to show the revealed answer formula that we created. So again, I'm gonna click on this symbol here to reveal it. So you just want to make sure that the revealed answer formula is underneath the reveal answer. So currently when the checkbox is unchecked, it shows nothing. But once I check the checkbox, it shows the answer below which is perfect. So that'll work on all of these. So that is essentially the basic quiz setup. I now have quiz questions and I can reveal the answers, but I also just want to add that scoreboard. If you remember up here, we have the little scorecard here, so I can select which questions I got correct and it will measure my progress. So what I'm gonna do is just underneath the quiz, I'm just gonna create another database. So I'm gonna type in forward slash database and select database in line. This one is gonna be called quiz results. And I'm just gonna click on the three dots and hide the title. I'm then just gonna rename this tab. So I'm gonna click on it and click rename. And this one is gonna be results. And I'm just gonna select an icon. Then I'm gonna just delete the default tags property. And I'm also just gonna delete two of these pre-generated rows. 
So in this database, we only actually need one row and that row I'm gonna label score. So this is where it's gonna actually generate our score. So the next thing we need to do is relate this score database to the actual quiz. So the way I'm gonna do that is using a relation property, which essentially just links two databases together. So I'm gonna click on this plus button again and type in relation and select this relation property. It's then gonna ask me which database I want to relate it to. So in this case, I'm gonna select quiz. So then it's gonna show that I want to relate to the quiz database, which is correct. It's then gonna ask me if I want to set a limit in this case you want to set no limit and then it's going to ask me if I want to show this on the quiz so in this case I do so I'm just going to select that and turn it on and add relation so now what's going to happen it's going to bring up an extra column on here that says quiz and if I go back on here and click on add questions I'm then just going to click on these three little dots and look at our properties so I want to see what properties we have so if I go to the ones that are hidden this new one has now appeared that says quiz results and it has this little arrow so I'm just going to unhide that one for a second so these two columns have been generated because we've added that relation and what I need to do is link up every single one of these questions with the score. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this box here and I'm just gonna select score. So now that I've done that, this question is related to our score. So I need all of the questions to be related to it. So I'm just gonna click on the little circle here and drag it down to make sure that score has been added to every single question on the list. Now, I don't really want to have to do that every single time I add a new question to the quiz because it's just gonna get tedious. So one thing that we can do to generate this automatically is we can add a filter up here and we're going to filter by the quiz results relation here and it's going to ask me what I want it to contain so I'm going to say score so now that I've added that filter every time I add a new row as you can see it will automatically add score to the question so I no longer have to fill this column in with the score so because of that I'm just going to click on it and click hide so we don't need to see it anymore it's just working in the background if then go back down to the results database as you can see under the quiz relation it's now relating every single question in our quiz to the score which is perfect that's exactly what we want again I don't really need to see this column so I'm just going to click on it and click hide so it's still there working in the background but I don't actually want to see it so to work out the score if we have a look up here so this is our correct check boxes so if I had some of these checked the easiest way to work out the score is just to work out the percentage of these correct check boxes that have been checked so to do that I'm going to use a roll-up property which essentially allows us to grab data from other databases and pull it into this one so I'm going to click on the plus and type in roll-up and this one I'm going to name percent correct so the first thing it's gonna ask is which relation I want to use. So in this case, I want to use the quiz because that's where the data is that I want to grab. And then it's gonna ask me which property I want to grab. So I'm gonna click on here. And in this case, we want to use this correct checkbox. So if we have a look now over here at the table, as you can see, it is correctly bringing up all of the checkboxes, but I don't really want to see them in this format. I want to work out how many of them have been selected. So if I go over here and under calculate, I'll click on there, and um, we want to select percent checked. So that is gonna work out the percentage of those boxes that has been checked which is essentially the score on our quiz so you can leave it like this as a number if you want you can have a little progress bar like this or a progress ring it's really up to you I think in this case I'm just gonna leave it as a number to make this look a bit more fun I'm just gonna change this to a gallery view so it shows up as a card rather than a table like this so I'm just gonna click on these three little dots here select layout and I'm gonna change it to gallery. So for this one, I don't have a cover photo and I don't really want one. So to get rid of all this white space, I'm gonna select card preview and just change it to none. Next, I'll just click this little back arrow here and select properties. So I do actually want to show the score on the scorecard. So under the properties, I'm just gonna select percent correct and unhide it from view so that it shows up here. And if I just scroll back up back to the quiz, I'll just put it back onto the actual quiz view. So I'm just gonna put this just above the quiz so that we can see it right at the top. So the final thing I just need to do is add the correct checkbox onto the front of this gallery view. So I can just click on these three little dots click properties and unhide this correct checkbox. So now you can just use the quiz as normal. So for example, I can just go through the quiz question. So what is the capital of Spain? I can guess my answer as Madrid. I can reveal the answer, see that it is Madrid. I'll just uncheck it to hide it and then I'm gonna tick correct for that one. So my score is now increased to 12.5%. I can then move on to what is the capital of Greece. Again, reveal the answer and decide if I got it correct or not and so on. Just remember that once you've checked a lot of these checkboxes at the end you will need to uncheck them so that you can use the quiz again next time so to do that you can go on the add questions page just click on here drag all the way down and hit delete on your keyboard and it will just automatically uncheck all of them and this is also where you can add more questions to the quiz just by clicking the plus new button and adding a new row and that's it thanks for watching this video on how to create a quiz in notion if you found this video useful please give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button you can also check out my pre-made Notion templates on my store. The link will be in the description box below.